For you a regular viewer, you'll know I'm a big fan of writing text that updates automatically. Well, today I'm going to show you an interesting technique about how we can use the reduce and substitute functions to perform a find and replace type action on a text string. It's gonna be a good one. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here in Excel, we have our example file. You can see I have a sentence. My sentence has placeholders with dynamic content. And I've wrapped each of those placeholders in curly brackets just so it's easy for us to see. And what we want to do is to perform a find and replace calculation. So every time it finds the word sentence, it's replaced with the word office. Each time it finds the word placeholders, it's replaced with a computer. And finally, each time it finds the words dynamic content, it's replaced with Excel 365. I've got these values here in a table, but it doesn't have to be a table. They could be normal cell values. And maybe depending on how you've got everything set up, this table might even come from Power Query. So therefore it could be a dynamic sentence based on a refresh in Power Query. I'm going to start up here in cell F3. And let's just start by looking at the substitute function equals substitute. Substitute has four arguments. It has the text, the old text, the new text, and the instance num. In this scenario, we're not going to be using the instance num, but we will be using the other three arguments. So our text is going to be our item here. So that's our sentence in cell B3. Next, I want to find the word sentence in curly brackets. And I want to replace that with the word office. I'll close that bracket, press return, and now it says my office has placeholders with dynamic content. So it has replaced the word sentence with office. Now I'm just going to make a small tweak to this function so that it helps us with how we need to think for the next step. So rather than cell C7, I'm going to use the offset function. I'll select the same cell, so cell B7. I want to offset by zero rows, but one column. So that means we're gonna start here, offset by zero rows, come across one column. So therefore it's still giving us the value in cell C7. Always oh, found a typo there, I've missed a bracket. I'll click yes to accept that. Now the thing is, substitute only performs one change at a time. What we want to do is to perform that substitute function three times, because we want to substitute sentence with office, placeholders with a computer, and dynamic content with Excel 365. Well, if we have Excel 365, that means we have access to the reduce function, which is a lambda helper function. So therefore we also have the lambda function. Now reduce and lambda can get quite complicated, but hopefully with this simple example, you'll see how we can use it and put it to good use for performing multiple find and replace actions. So I'll come back to my formula. And at the start, I'll type reduce. If we want to have a look at that function, you can see reduces an array of an accumulated value by applying a lambda function to each value and returning the total value in the accumulator. Now that sounds confusing, but don't worry. I'll open a bracket on that. It asks us for our initial value. We're going to start with our sentence. That's our initial value. Then it asks us for an array. These are all the values that we want to perform the reduce function on. Well, we want to do this three times, once for each of our pieces of text in the find column. The third argument is the function. And this has to be a lambda function. So I'll start typing lambda. Now, when reduce is combined with lambda, it has two special arguments. The first one is the accumulator. So we will refer to that as A. The next is the value, which I will refer to as V. And then finally, it has a function that we want to perform, which is our substitute function. We want to set our substitute so that the text is our accumulator. And then rather than cell B7, we want to use V, which is the value. So we will replace both of those. Okay, I can now close the lambda and then close the reduce. So what's going to happen is the first time this calculation runs, 
is going to perform the substitute using sentence and office. This will then update the A, so the accumulator. It will then run again and it will replace placeholders with a computer. This again will update that accumulator value. Finally, it will run a third time and replace dynamic content with Excel 365. So now when we press return, you can see that that substitute has run three times, once for each of the items in our array. Now, if you're there thinking this is really hard, how am I meant to do this? Well, the good news is that if you take this formula, the only bits you need to change are B3, that is the start sentence, and then also our find and replace table with our find column. So you'll just replace that for the list of values that you want to use. So provided you replace those two items, the rest of the formula will just run by itself. Well, that's it. That's how we can perform multiple find and replace calculations on a text string. So in this video, we've seen that substitute only calculates once, but if we combine it with reduce and lambda, we can make it calculate as many times as we need. So we can perform as many find and replace calculations as we need. I think it's a nice technique. Hopefully you can put it to good use. If you like what we teach, why not check out our training academy over at excelofthegrid.com forward slash academy. We'd love to see you in there. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.